Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm going to respond to a really good question that I got from a couple of my teen viewers. Hi guys, I know it's been a minute since you sent me the email and I want to say thank you to lovely ladies for sending me a joint email together. So I am going to respond to a couple of your questions which were about past lives and feeling really connected to certain genres or times in life. So others of you have also inquired about past life stuff. And first I need to tell you how I feel, what my biases are in regards to past life. So I totally believe in reincarnation, obviously. And I have had lots of people as a psychic and a medium ask me about past lives. I'm gonna tell you that there are different people who specialize in that. So I don't specialize in doing past life regressions, like where you go into like a hypnotic state and remember your past lives. There's actually people that do that kind of stuff and I am not one of them. So let's be clear, I am not an expert on past lives or past life regressions. But that said, sometimes past life information is pertinent is relatable to your current human life that you have now. But I am very, very strong in my opinion about past lives and how don't be going messing around with your past life if you don't have your current life in order. If you are using past life as a distraction or an excuse, yes, she did just say that excuse to focus on something different or to find blame or cause for the reason why you're feeling the way you are you have the kind of relationships that you have or your life isn't really going anywhere or you don't feel like you're getting where you want to be fast enough you can't blame the past life the reason why you've had previous lives is to learn grow and experience different things, different lifetimes, different life experiences. Now, I am not even going to touch the topic of karma in this video. I'm specifically going to talk about past lives. So now you know my biases about it. I'm not a fan of past lives. However, I will share that when I'm in session with folks, sometimes they do come up and I can see them if they are relevant to the current experience or or directly related to what is being experienced right here and right now, then yes, I will share about that. But I don't go digging for them and I don't go looking for them because you have enough to handle with your energy and your current life experience and to focus on the present, the now, instead of using the past life as a distraction is really most important, all right? And I will also share that yes, I've had past lives. Yes, I remember a few of my past lives. A couple of different past life experiences have come to me. And I've also actually, with some of my loved ones, had some experiences with them specifically related to past lives. So very powerful past life experiences. So for me, there's at least one that is really obvious past life <laughs> experience that I've had, existence, and I know, I'm aware of it. and. Then also with one of my loved ones, very much aware of that very powerful past life experience. So there you go. So yes, past lives are a thing. Yes, reincarnation is a thing. But remember, it's all about what you believe. What you believe is your reality. So that when you transition into the afterlife, you will have an opportunity, even if you don't believe in reincarnation right now, you'll have an opportunity to choose that route. If you, if you want to do that, you can. Okay, so you can change your mind and you won't even have a mind at that point. You'll release from human experience and you'll be pure spirit. And it's a different, it's a whole different ball game in the afterlife then. So don't worry about people who don't believe in reincarnation. It doesn't matter. It's totally a choice. <laughs> it's an option. And yes, you can incarnate many, many times. But let's be clear. Reincarnating or coming back into a life, meaning you've had other lifetimes, doesn't mean you're not doing it right. It doesn't mean you're a bad person or last lifetime you really sucked at this so you better get back there and try again. It's not about punishment. It's not about reward. It's not about judgment or assessment or comparison. It's not about that. It's total and complete choice. So thank you to those two awesome teens that sent me the message about that. 
Now, the second part of the question that they brought up, I think it's really important for you guys. Some of you have also asked about this in private session where, you know how it is sometimes where you just feel this connection to someone, like just really connected like you've known them before or, or you have an unusual feeling of familiarity with a complete stranger? Yes, that could be a past life remembrance where there was a connection between the two of you in another lifetime. Souls do connect and it's kind of defies rational thinking, but sometimes a total stranger you feel really connected to and it, it, it's totally possible that you've shared a past life experience with them or that your spirits when you were in the other side and transitioning back into human life had uh, experience where you're connected and there's some kind of relatedness or some kind of, of shared support or encouragement that, that um, is, is linking the two of you. And so you may connect with that person as well. All right, so yes, that's totally possible. And it is true also in relation to having um, memories of or um, how do I say this? If you have certain genres of time that you really like, like if there's certain types of clothing you're really drawn to a specific decade, or if there's a specific geographic part of the country that you're really drawn to, but you've never like been there in this lifetime, yes, it's totally possible that you lived there in a previous lifetime. It's totally possible that the genre of clothing that you, you know, you have dreams about or that you're drawn to is absolutely a clue about your past life experience because there are some of those remembrances that come through. All right, remember though that whenever you connect through your spirit and you have a memory or remembrance or some kind of almost a deja vu moment where like, I've done this before, I've done this before, it could simply be your soul helping to give you a familiarity so that you can feel supported, so that you can feel that you're more than just your human body, that you're more than just your spiritual experience. It's really aimed when you have any of those kinds of experiences to help you. It's never intended to harm or hurt you. That's why I say, if you wanna do some kind of something with past lives or do past life regressions where it's kind of like a hypnotherapy type of a thing, make sure that you have someone that is highly recommended, has great references, and that can do it for you very safely, where you come back and are fully integrated with the information from the past life that only helps you in this lifetime. Stuff that's not relevant to this lifetime needs to be left in the past because it can simply just cloud up or create more chaos, especially in the heart chakra for you. And if you're a sensitive being anyway, you don't need that extra stuff. You need to focus here and now. And it is totally possible to bring forward gifts to support your current healing and to enhance your current life experience, but it must be done in a way that is very specific, very professional, and most importantly, relatable and helpful for you. It has to be helpful for you, okay? So going back to the past doesn't fix your present and it doesn't fix the future either. Remember, you are always at will, you are always at choice, and that is where your true power is, in your own choices, your own healthy choices, all right? So thank you so much. See, I do read your emails too, and I read your comments on the YouTube videos. And many of you do realize that I do that because I try to comment when I can, but thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching here at Above Life Channel. Remember the purpose is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope because this, this is your life, your current life. So live it, just live it here and now. Thanks for watching.